Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I am super excited to be scrutinizing another video for you today. This time we are going to Moscow, Russia, to take a look at another advanced Lindy Hop Jack and Jill competition. It's gonna be good, so let's jump right into it. Here we go. Okay, the initial standout dancers for me, uh, I would have to say is the, the follower. She's got the orange hair, blue dress, white shirt, and this leader here with the hat on. I think he's the only leader with the hat on. They so far are standing out the most to me. And I believe the couple to their right, which would be to the left. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so there are two guys with hats. This is the one I did not see. All right. Swing out, yes. Two.
<laughs> ah, I love that. This is going to be really tough to judge. I got to admit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Big shout out to everybody on this. Great job. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, this was a really fun one to watch. I think right off of the top, my initial feelings are there were about three couples that really shined the most for me. And two of those couples kind of had a, a set that wasn't as good as their other set. So I, I think it kind of made it easier for me to, 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 to distinguish who would be first place. Now, obviously in these types of competitions, I look at three main uh, categories to help me really look at a more objective view of this competition. First, I like to start with clearly the technique. I like to call this control. And really, if you're competing in this level of competition, control simply means I can see the leader doing their role and the follower doing their role. And they're, they're both working together in concert, but they are not fighting each other in their roles. And so I didn't really see anybody having trouble with that part of it. Now, I will say the reason I'm picking third place for this particular couple and I will say it's this couple with, uh, she had like a light blue dress on, orange hair, white shirt, and he had like blue with nice black hat on. I like them for third place uh, simply because they, they worked t together well, obviously, but the reason I have him in third is I like there's his particular distinction in his movement. I like her movement too. They complement each other well. Uh, I wish they would have danced more together on their first set. I don't like when people actually make statements. Um, statements meaning, hey, look, we can just solo dance together and not really do Lindy Hop. Um, that's okay, some people like doing that, but when you're in this type of competition, for me, I wanna see what you can do with the actual technique. And for me, I wish they would have done more on their first set. Now, when it comes to their second set, that's a different story. I, I really liked the followers' ability to improvise while following it's really hard to do both at the same time and even though they got a little disconnected in certain spots they didn't lose their joy they continued to work together and it left me kind of on the edge of my seat going oh I, I wanted to see more of what they had to do but what I but what I saw from them I can honestly tell you I liked and it merited that precious third place spot for me mainly because of the control and I really liked their styling now, of course, the styling part really has nothing to do with my judging. It's just my personal opinion, what I like about it. But in, in terms of control, I think they, they merit that third place. Now, when it comes to the second place, this was more tough. This was more tough for me. And my second place goes to the couple. She had a blue, I think it might be black, like shorts or skirt on with a white shirt. He had brown pants. I think it's brown, might be reddish color but with the blue shirt, here they are here. What I liked about their first set, they were able to do their Charleston variations in a way that made sense. Like I could see the follower uh, hanging with the leader. They didn't seem disjointed. In fact, they, they were able to do what I wish the third couple, third place couple did, which was show me a little bit more of what you can do. But re what really sold me the most though with their set is their second set. Their second set is what sold me because they just showed me how to the, the main move in swing dancing, which is the swing out. And I got to see a little bit more of their personality, clearly, but I got to see and appreciate the follower more. The leader's not in the way, but the leader's doing the main job, which is setting up energy for the follower. And they're doing it in such a way that says, hey, look, we understand the control, but now we're adding a little bit of personality 
so that the viewer can appreciate them. They nailed that second set. Um, and I loved their swing outs. I really appreciated that. And for me, it kind of merits the second place spot. It kind of merits that. Now, if they wouldn't have done as well in their second place spot in terms of like being able to do the swing outs, or if they would have jumped back and did some more Charleston stuff like the first set, they probably would have got third place for me. But because they showed a little bit more of what they could do without just jumping into the default comfort zone, which tends to be Charleston, um, they get second place for me. So great job for them. Now, first place was interesting because I didn't prefer this couple's style of dancing, but for me, they had the full package that the other two didn't have. This is interesting. And this goes to the couple. She had like a cheetah pant. Well, it's a, it's a skirt, but it's like polka dot with a black shirt. He had a nice, nicely groomed beard with a maroon shirt, brown pants. They came out totally connected together. They look like one body sharing energy at different points. Um, I don't see them struggling to, to work with each other. He's adding a lot of character and personality so I can see he's a little bit more flamboyant. She's a little bit more reserved. But what I really like is they kept this energy up even for their second set. Their second set was great. I got to see more connectivity, more, tech, more technique, more energy, I, more of everything that I liked. And for me, I felt entertained when I watched them, but I also could put on my critical eye and tell they both understood the timing and the technique, and they had a little bit of what I would say creativity. And so their creativity for me wasn't anything I haven't seen before, because normally that's the distinguishing factor to determine really that first place person uh, from the second place person. But what I will say is I enjoyed their energy the most. They were able to show a distinct difference between them and the other couples with their energy. Now, here's the weird thing about it is I liked them the least when it came to how they actually danced, right? Um, I just didn't prefer it. But at the same time, with the way I like to judge, I was able to still put them in the first place spot, which a lot of people say, well, how can you do that if you didn't like what they're doing? I did like what they were doing. I just didn't like how they looked doing it, but they're still first place to me because they were able to do those basic things that I appreciate in competitions, which is show me the technique. Can you basically do Lindy Hop? They were both doing it. Show me something interesting with the timing of the music. Most of the couples were all the same on that. They added a few things that I do appreciate. And then the third element obviously is the creativity and they nailed that. Their, their creativity for me was energy. And the, the interesting part about this is the third place couple for me could have gotten first if they would have showed me something more in their first set. That's that they went from first in my mind to third just because of this idea that, you know, dancing separately and, and having fun is takes more of a priority than dancing together, sharing energy at different points. So there you have it, guys. That's my opinion on this one. This one was really tough to judge. It was really tough to judge. But that's how I feel about it. So let me know who you thought really won this competition. You guys know how I like to judge things. I like to just tell you most of it is subjective. Most judges will not tell you that. Um, in fact, most judges will not tell you how they actually are critiquing you. It's just the way it is. Um, but I'm that kind of judge that likes to tell the students, here's what I'm looking for. This is what the audience tends to look for. And um, I'll keep my biased opinion in terms of what I like about your dancing. Uh, for another time. So anyway, if you guys haven't started doing this yet, you should. If you haven't competed, I encourage you to compete. I remember my very first competition, I was terrified. <laughs> it was so intimidating to see so many other great dancers and uh, put myself in that shiny spotlight with everybody looking on you, looking on to you. It, it can uh, be scary, but it, it's definitely worth it for so many reasons. Uh, one of them being it's just going to help you be able to determine what you can do under pressure. And that wonderful pressure that you can get with the supportive crowd will push your creativity beyond the limits that you currently have. So I would encourage you, if you haven't decided to do a Jack and Jill competition, do it. It's awesome. It'll, it'll grow you in a way that you've never expected before. If you haven't learned how to do this yet, or if you're wanting to take it to the next level where you're just 
creatively dry and you're just trying to push your dancing, I encourage you to check out some of my free courses below. I've got like 25 to 30 free courses to really show you some of my creativity and the things that I've contributed to the Lindy Hop uh, art form. Not a lot of people are contributing things to it artistically or capturing their ideas on film. I mean, we all have iPhones, but nobody's really put an effort into that. So I spent the last 10 years doing that very thing um, adding new stuff to the to the vocabulary of the dance uh, in a way where it can be an inspiration to you and hopefully inspire you to do the same. So check out those courses below. Again, let me know what you guys thought about this competition. This was really fun. I can't wait to look at the next video. So stay tuned. I'm about to judge another one. I think it might be at, at like an invitational. So we'll check it out here in a minute. Um, if I don't see your comments below on who you thought was the winner, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.